Welcome back. This is question 4.68 and the statement of this question is the power P in watts which is dissipated in an electric circuit with resistance R is known to be given by P equal to I square R. This is the well known formula for calculating the power which has been dissipated across a resistor where I is the current in amperes and R is a constant fix at 50 ohms. However, I is a random variable with mu of I equal to 15 which is the mean value amperes and sigma I square is 0 0.03 amperes square which is basically the variance of the current which is a random variable. Give numerical approximation to the mean and variance of the power P. What do we have to find out? We have to find out the expected value of P okay and also the variance for p these two values are unknown and we have to find them out okay so this is a very interesting problem and looking at it we can see that if this is a resistor and a current has been flowing through it okay so this resistor has the value of 50 ohm this is a 50 ohm resistor what do we have to find out we have to find out the expected value of px and me variance of the p where this i is a random variable and the quantities associated with this random variable are given here as well okay we know that in order to find the expected value of p what do we have to do we have to find the expected value of i square r which is the formula which is already given here okay so in order to find it out let me use it i square okay multiplying it with the expected value of r we know that this r is a constant term which is 50 so therefore it will be as it is so it will be the multiplicative factor because these two are multiplying with each other so therefore the only thing which will remain here would be expected value of this i square so let me call it equation a okay here we can very easily see that we have here e of i square which is unknown in order to find it out let me go down okay and we know that the variance formula if we see this is if this is the variance this is equal to what this is equal to the expected value of i square minus the expected value of i whole square you have to keep here in your mind that expected value of i means mu of i okay which is here and variance of i means sigma square of i which is also here okay so you have to keep these things in your mind in order to find out the value of e of i square adding both sides with this e of i whole square what would i get here i will get expected value of i square it would be the variance of i plus expected value of i whole square okay do i know these values here yeah, these are already known variance of i is known and this is 0 0.03 so 0 0.03 plus expected value of i this is also known this is 15 so 15 whole square okay adding them all together and then getting the answer the expected value of i square would be 225.03 okay so this is what we wanted to find out and this is what we have here and this is the value of e of i square okay we can very easily see it here so now taking it and putting it here in this formula what would i get here uh, let me use it here so it would become expected value of this power would be 50 multiplied by the expected value of i square which is 
225.03 okay so multiplying them both together what i would get i would get 11 251.5 okay this is what this is the expected value of pa so as this is in watts it would be in watts as well okay. so this is the solution for part a of my question okay so this is the first part okay now in order to find out the variance which is here what do we have to do i know that in order to find the variance of it this is the sigma square of p this is what this can be found out by finding the variance of p okay which is what p is i square r so finding the variance for i square r it is what let me write here the variance of p this r is a constant term so let me write here this r as 50 as it okay multiplied by i square okay and from the formula we know that if we want to find out the variance of a b where a is the multiplicative factor so it would become a square multiplied by the variance of b okay where b is what b is the random variable okay so here i is a random variable this is a constant term let me use the same formulation so here i would get 50 square multiplied by the variance of i square okay so this is what we want to find out but here let me move down somehow you need to see that this variance of i square is unknown in order to write its approximation we have here variance of i square its approximation is already given in your book and that is basically the two expected value of i whole square multiplied by the variance of i okay so this is what this is in your book so if i want to find out the variance of i square it will be like this one now let me put all these values expected value phi is given this variance is already given so 2 multiplied by this e of i is here this is 15 okay whole square multiplied by this sigma square this is also here 0 0.03 So finding it out, it would be 30 square multiplied by 0 0.03. So this is what? This is the variance of I square. Okay. So let me have it here. And this is from this formula which we have here. And from it, we have found it out. Let me take it and put it now here what would i get here the answer of it let me use this color for it so the variance of p would be what it would be the 50 square multiplied by the 30 square multiplied by 0 0.03 okay finding it out we would get 67500 watts okay so that's it that is basically the solution for finding out the variance of the question which i have okay so that's what we wanted to find in our question and you have seen that if we have not known something which we wanted to find out we have to find the approximation for it and then we have to solve it as we wanted to solve so that's it for today if you have any question, you can ask me in the comment box. See you soon.